Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emma Godson and for those of you who are new here and you have not seen my face before. I'm a stylist, I'm a creative director, I'm also an influencer and a blogger over at amagodson.com. So please do read my blog, please do also follow me over on Instagram. Ding! Ding! <laughs> and also please do subscribe to the channel. We're a fashion family over here, we do loads of reviews and we also do loads of tips and tricks and how to style up your wardrobe, how to make your wardrobe stretch, as well as beauty and vlogs in between. So, Thank you so, so much for clicking onto this video and without rambling on and doing all that youtube stuff, today's video is going to be such an exciting video because I'm going to be sharing with you guys my designer wish list for my shoes. Now, I have been the girl who has always been into designer pieces, I love luxury fashion and I wanted to share with you guys a few of the kind of shoes that I've got my eye on over the next couple of months or the next couple of weeks. As soon as we get out of the house, I do want to actually go into store trying a lot of the shoes that I have got my eye on and not just order them online actually kind of get a feel for them make sure they're exactly what I want especially if I'm going to be splurging five six seven eight hundred pounds on a pair of shoes so without rambling on any further I'm going to share with you guys my designer shoe wish list for the next couple of months so let's get into this video Okay, so if you guys know me and you've been watching my YouTube, my YouTube or my Instagram for a very long time, um, well not a long time because I've not really been on YouTube for a long time, but if you've been watching me over on Instagram for a long time and you've been watching me for the past couple of months over here on YouTube, then you would know that I am the lady who loves meals. I am the girl, I love a slip on pointy meal, you literally slip it on, they're super sexy super elevated you put on a mule with a pair of really flared trousers and it just looks super sharp even if you're wearing like a midi dress or a midi skirt some mules are just perfect to dress up your look still feel comfortable the heel is not too high so you can wear them around in the daytime and then also dress them up for the night as well so the first pair of mules that i am absolutely going to buy three or four pairs of are the Manolo Blahnix Maysals. I'm not sure if they're Maysals or Maysalis, but they are just absolutely amazing. They're super chic, super comfortable, super plain. There's not much going on with them, and that's what I love about the shoe. You can literally put them on with any outfit, and it automatically just kind of gives you a little bit of an elevated vibe, but you still can be casual and chic at the same time. I am looking to pick them up in a few different colors, and maybe a print as well, so I cannot wait to get these these shoes I did kind of get close to getting a pair of these shoes last year um, and they were like a shock blue but I didn't want the blue to be my first pair of shoes to get from Manolo Blahnik I actually wanted it to be like a black or a white or a neutral so that I can get the wear out of the shoes so the first pair that I'm probably gonna kind of venture into is either a black pair or a navy pair a navy pair and see how I get on but these bing, no thing are the shoes um, and they're just oh, amazing they come in loads of different heel sizes and of course I probably go for the slightly higher heel just because I do have very slim feet so the higher the heel when you have got slim feet the smaller your feet look if they are flat then they look longer it is just a trick that everyone um, in the industry who works in fashion really kind of know but the higher your heel like the higher your heel is the better your incline on the inside of your foot is and it looks a lot nicer so that's why I want to go for the higher heel and um, but I just feel, feel it looks nicer anyway it just looks a little bit more elevated and a little bit more chic and I prefer to stay away from flat shoes I don't really wear flats that often if I am wearing flats they are trainers um, or flip-flops I don't really do flat loafers or anything like that that's not really my vibe so these shoes I am 100% going to splurge on as soon as we get out of this house. I cannot wait to get my hands on a pair of these. And the next pair of shoes that I am super excited about getting a pair of are hangeesies. Now these are the Manolo Blahnik hangeesies. They're super elegant. They're, do you know what? When I first saw them, I thought these are so granny. They've got like a really big kind of buckle on the front of them, which is like diamante vibe and they're pointy shoes. And initially I was like, mm, they're very granny. But as I've kind of grown up and as I've 
kind of had a little bit more of an acquired taste with my shoes, I absolutely love them. I love all of the colours. I love the classic black your neutrals, your blues, all of that kind of, and I love the colourful vibes as well. So I definitely want to get a pair of Hangisis, and of course I'm going to go for the highest heel, but they are just such amazing shoes. I know that my mum used to wear Hangisis all of the time. She used to bang them out, and I'd be like, mum, these shoes are not it. They're not nice, but... As time's gone on, I'm like, oh, mum, have you still got your hangisis? And she's like, no, I gave them to charity. Sorry, mum, what? You gave the hangisis to charity? So here we are <laughs> with hangisis on my actual want list that my mum had them. How annoying. However, I will be getting a pair of those in the next couple of months and I just cannot wait. I love everything about these shoes. You can style them up so many different ways. You can pop on a pair of jeans and a plain t-shirt and a blazer and put on a pair of hangisis and it just automatically gives you a little bit more of a dressed up vibe. If you throw a clutch bag that's a little bit more shiny and like glittery, you've got such a nice evening look and the hangisis are just elegant and classic shoes. Okay, now the next pair of shoes that I cannot keep my eyes off of I'm on Farfetched every second. I'm on Louisa Via Roma. I'm literally Googling where I can pick up my size in these shoes. Now, these are the Gia Couture times Penelope Tie Spec. Penel, Penel Tie Spec? I don't know if I'm saying their name right. So the Gia Couture Penel Tie Spec shoes. Now, these are just banging. When I saw them, I just said, wait, hold on a minute. Why have I not got these? They're basically really cute little mules. They're almost like an open, open toe sandal with a Velcro going over the top of the foot. Now, they come in various different colors. They come in like a brown, which is almost the same color as my skin. And then they also come in a, um, like an off-white neutral kind of color as well. I am after the off-white neutral um, and I cannot wait to get my hands on them. Farfetch are currently doing a sale at the moment, 50% off all of their shoes and I am super annoyed at myself because I didn't actually buy them as soon as I saw them. I waited for the evening, I said when I finish work I'm actually just going to chill out and order them. By the time I got to them, all of the sizes that could work for me are completely sold out. So. I couldn't get a pair of them, which is so annoying. Now they've gone into the sale, it almost makes me feel like I might not be able to pick those up. But guys, if you ever spot them, if you ever see a pair of the Gia Couture Penel, Penel, I can't even say her name, Penel Tysbeck, um collaboration shoes, and please do let me know. I've got my eye on a pair of Sophia Webster shoes. They are super, super cute. I love them. They almost remind me of the Amina Mawadi shoes actually but I just love the fact that these have got amazing straps just going all over them they're super simple but they're just so so effective and they can be worn so many different ways they're the Roslyn's Marie shoes now I'm gonna pop a picture up here Ding! I love these shoes now of course like I said they are very plain there's not much about them but that is what I love about these shoes you can style them up so many different ways they can be easily with just a pair of jeans, a white t-shirt, and then you put these on with a nice little blazer on top, or you can wear a really cute dress with these shoes, or you can dress them all the way up and wear a very, very fancy dress and pop these on, just so there's a nice balance. There's not too much going on with the shoes and the dress. So there's so many ways that you can style up a very simple shoe like this, but yet the shape of it is super, super nice. I love the, the actual heel. It's almost like a, like a, like a curved kind of vibe and that is very much Amina Mawadi but I just love the fact that these are slightly different um, and I feel like I will get myself a pair of Amina Mawadi's but I just need to make sure I find the right pair that are a little bit more classic um, and these are super classic I feel like Amina Mawadi do really really nice colours and very very bright prints and things like that but I know I'm not gonna wear those all the time. So I don't see myself getting a pair of those right now, but I know these I could rock for days. And again, you guys have seen a lot of my videos where I talk about classic pieces, pieces that you can wear so many different times with so many different outfits. And these Sophia Webster, Roslyn Marie shoes are exactly that. The next pair of shoes that I want specifically for the spring summer season more so the summer and um, they're basically colt gia 
Cult Gaia. Cult Gia, Cult Gaia, I never get this name right. Cult Gaia, their shoes are just insane. They're super like different. They've got like almost like a wooden heel with extra detail going through the wooden heel. It's got a strappy kind of section going across the foot and then up the leg as well. I absolutely love these shoes. Now these shoes are called the Soilil lace sandals if i remember correctly um it's 100 mil on the actual heel and they're just they almost look like wooden shoes they're just so banging imagine just wearing a plain dress with these shoes and it just gives it a nice pop and maybe like a, a beach style bag it would just be such a nice cute outfit and i can see myself rocking these shoes so many different ways with an all black dress with those shoes an all white dress with those shoes jeans those shoes and a white vest like there's so many different ways that you can rock a pair of these shoes and i absolutely love them the best part about these kind of shoes as well is the price point is so so good let me just check i think they're yeah so these are the shoes guys i don't know if you can see oh but i'll put them on screen anyway but they are absolutely beautiful Ah, oh, they're a sand colour, so they're almost like a sandy, nude -y. well not my kind of nude, but you know, they're, they're like a, a beige colour I should say, let me be politically correct, they are a beige colour and I absolutely love them, they're so so nice, um, and they're only £365, and I thought, do you know what? For a really detailed shoe, a shoe that's got so much craftsmanship in it and you know that they are going to stand out in your wardrobe. They are that shoe that's a little bit different. It's not a classic, but you can definitely rock them four or five different ways. This is the kind of shoe that I 100% need to be including in my wardrobe and I absolutely love them. The next pair of shoes that I absolutely love, 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 and they're so underrated. These kind of shoes are underrated because you can rock these shoes all summer, all spring, this season, next season, season after that, and season after that, and they ain't going nowhere. And they're just such an underrated shoe, and I've never ever invested in a pair of them, even though I've always wanted to. And they're Castagna Wedges. Now, Castagna Wedges, they've recently just been stocked in Selfridges. They weren't stocked in Selfridges before. And I've actually gone in and tried them on. I actually wanted an all black pair, but I didn't want them to be the black on the top and then like the wedge color on the bottom. I wanted it to all be just a full black pair, but I just can't seem to find those anymore. I'm not sure if they've stopped stocking them, but I absolutely love those ones and I want to find them. If not, then I'll also go for the neutral colour, which can go with so many different spring summer outfits throughout this season, next season, season after, and so on and so forth. They are so, so comfortable. Now, I'm looking for the highest heel, and I think the highest heel is a 120mm or a 110mm. Um, and I keep finding the ones that are a little bit more flatter. Now, of course, I am someone who is quite slim and I've got really long legs. So I like to have that elevation in my shoes, just so there's a nice balance and it almost elongates you in a very elegant way. When your shoes are too, too flat, you know, you almost, the balance isn't nice and sometimes it can be a little bit, makes your foot look a little bit long and I don't really like that. So I like to make sure that my shoes are always a little bit higher um, I got a comment recently in one of the YouTube videos and they said, oh, you never wear, you never wear flat shoes or you never wear like low shoes. And I just, I just don't really do it unless I'm wearing trainers. I don't really do much low shoes or, you know, unless they're a mule, a trainer. That's it. I don't do like flats or, you know, stuff like that. But these, oh, when I find the right heel length or the heel height, should I say, oh, I'm going to buy these and buy these and buy these. So I wanna go for the black, all black color, and I also wanna go for the um, neutral color as well. So I've got two pairs, and again, these are under 100 pounds, but they are just so perfect for every kind of outfit. If you're wearing a midi dress, if you're wearing a linen dress, if you're wearing shorts, if you're wearing trout, like anything that you're gonna wear, those wedges will literally be a perfect addition for a spring, summer outfit. They're on my want list, um, and I've, sh I've shared those over on my Instagram. I do like a want list Wednesday, every single Wednesday, where I kind of put together a list of things that are on my list of wants, 
wants. Um, they might be designer, they might be high street, whatever it is. But I also post those over on my Instagram and I share with you guys that these are the things that I'm looking for. A lot of people are also interested and they're like, oh, they're nice. And they actually buy a lot of those pieces as well. So if you are interested in my one list Wednesdays, please do follow me over on Instagram. The last shoe that I cannot wait to get my hands on are a pair of Christian Louboutin sneakers. Now, I am very much a girl who loves high heel shoes. I love a, a nice five, six inch shoe. I love myself a 120 millimeter heel. However, I am still very much into trainers and they obviously have to be bright white or they have to be clean. And these trainers, I've always wanted them. I found a pair quite a while back in, I think it was probably, yeah, December time. And they were so nice, but they were blue, gray, and red. And that sounds a bit crazy, but I just, they were just so beautiful. But I just knew I couldn't wear those trainers every single day. I couldn't wear them on a regular basis. They wouldn't go with everything. So I just gave them a pass. But I am looking for a pair that is just super like classic and they will stand the test of time and they can be worn with blazers, they can be worn with really cute dresses and they still look very put together, elegant and chic. I don't want anything that's too, you know, over the top, you know, with loads of like embellishments and like rhinestones and like they've got those like rock studs that go at the front of the, I don't want those ones. I want very, very plain trainers, but they've just got a nice craftsmanship and nice shape. Now, with Christian Louboutin trainers, I always, always go for the menswear trainers. And that is because the shape on the menswear trainers is a little bit more structured. I don't know if you guys have tried on the ladies and the menswear, but the ladies ones always feel a little bit more relaxed and the shape is a little bit more rounder. Whereas the men's one, they've got these like, it's almost like a pointy kind of trainer and it's like squared off on the front. Oh, they're beautiful. So when you rock them and the incline on the actual lace bit here, is so so nice they're so perfect so i'm grabbing myself a pair of those in the next couple of months when we actually leave the home but again i'm the person who likes to shop in the store i like to go into the store when i'm buying designer pieces try them on walk around the store and say mm, and um and ah about them for a little while before I spend six, seven, eight, nine hundred pounds on a pair of shoes. If it's high street and it's H&M, Reese, Cos, um, I can easily just order online and not be fussed about it simply because I'm not spending a, a, a large amount of money um, and then I can just always return them if I didn't like them. Sometimes shopping at Farfetch'd and Louisa, Louisa Via Roma and stuff like that is a lot easier because um, they ship out quite quickly. But I generally like to try them on in store before I go out and buy them online afterwards. And um, just so I'm sure, because I don't like the faff of going back to the post office or, you know, having to call them up to kind of collect the shoes. And sometimes it's just such a long process and it's just always nice to be sure that this is exactly the size that I need. This is the height. I've tried them on. I love them. I love the way they fit on me, all of that stuff. And then you make the purchase online or wherever you're going to get it in store, whatever the case is. But when you are buying online, I generally like to try them on first. Then if I find a better deal online, that's when I go and purchase. So that's it from me. I absolutely loved sharing my kind of like want list designer shoes that I've got on my on my radar for the next couple of months. Um, I cannot wait to go out there, try them on and have that experience with them before I purchase them because these are going to be long lasting pieces that I cannot wait to have in my wardrobe. Um, and I just kind of want to keep doing these videos actually and just sharing with you guys what's on my want list, what kind of designer pieces I'm actually looking to be purchasing over the next couple of months. Um, I've also got some dresses that I'm looking to kind of purchase, which are a little bit nice, uh, higher end, uh, expensive, gonna break the bank, husband's not gonna be happy kind of dress, but they're coming, um, they're coming. So I have got my eye on a few rotate dresses, which are on net a and um, I've also got a few other dresses, which are Max Mara and um, anyway, that's all for another video. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please do hit the subscribe button. Please do join the Amagodson family. I share loads of fashion tips and tricks and advice and all of that stuff over here. I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I shall see you in my next video. Take care guys.
Bye.